Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your sprites move for an extra challenge in the Sprite Catcher game. So what I wanna do is make a new function that's gonna run forever, and it's gonna make it so my sprites move around on the screen. So in, because it's gonna run forever, I don't wanna make a new block. I'm going to go here and actually create a new message. And so this message is going to be called um, something like Sprite, oops, helps by clicking here, Sprite Movement. Cool. So the code for this is it's going to forever like turn a random amount. So turn between like negative 10 and 10, something like that. Negative 10, 10. And then it's going to move a little bit, not a lot. So like two steps. And then if it happens to touch the edge, I want to make it so that it bounces. Um, now to make it run this code, uh, just like with the other stuff that I created, like the check if touching when clicked, I'm going to simply broadcast this message right here and make sure that it's on the correct one, sprite movement, so green flag, and my sprites are, should start moving across the screen. Awesome. So this code is running at the same time as all this other stuff where it checks to see if I'm uh, touching the sprite when I'm clicking, like miss, and making it so it fades in and out and hiding and waiting a random amount. Cool, all this is working great. Let me show you a, an even fancier thing that you can do. We can make it so that uh, if you have a score, so like you're keeping track of the number of sprites caught, we can add in a conditional to say, if our score is greater than two, then we'll make it move, otherwise it won't move. So for example, if our where is it at? Sprite's caught, there it is. If our sprite's caught is greater than two, then it's gonna run this code where it's gonna move and bounce on the edge. Otherwise, it's not gonna run this code. It's just simply going to turn and spot. So let's test it. So I caught it, it's at one. Caught it again, it's at two. Now if I catch the sprite again, it should start running this code and making it move. So let me test it. Yeah, now the sprite's moving, that's great. Cool, now another thing that we can do is we can actually make it so that it gets faster and faster depending on how many sprites you catch. So that way this game gets infinitely harder as you keep going. So to do that, I'm gonna add it in a block right here and I'm going to say uh, the number of sprites caught divided by three is going to make it move a certain amount. So if the number of sprites caught is higher for instance, if we have eight sprites, it goes faster, 13, faster, faster, faster. So depending on how high the number is or how low the number is, it's now going to actually make it so that the sprite goes faster and slower depending on this number here. Okay, so to recap, uh, you're going to create a message um, because it's gonna run uh, forever. And you're gonna broadcast that message at the beginning where it starts the sprite movement. And in that sprite movement, you're going to forever make a turn a random amount, you'll make it move, and then you'll make it bounce on the edge. And if you're keeping score, you can actually make it so that it only moves after you've reached a certain score, and you can even make it so that it moves uh, faster depending on how high your score is. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.